Hello, Coach Jones. Yeah, good to be back. Glad to have you back. Yeah. All right. So, you had a great game last Friday. Yeah. Uh, what came to your mind when you guys were down 20 in the first quarter? I was – my head was spinning. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, seemed like everything that kind of could go wrong did. And, uh, you know, we fumble a ball, they score, they get an onside kick and score, and then we fumble again and score. And so down 20 to nothing really quickly, uh, I was like, I knew we had to do something pretty quick to get it turned around. And, uh, you know, that's, that's when it, it started. Yeah. So what changed after the first quarter that turned the game around and got us back up by that one point? Well, we really just stopped making those mistakes. We, uh, I felt like that we were better than them. But if you play bad, a team that's not as good as you can beat you. And so uh, that's, it's tough. Uh, you know, what changed? Uh, there was a group of kids on the sideline got together and say, we're going to go score right now. And uh, that's exactly what happened. So at halftime, were you relieved that you were back in it or were you a little nervous? Absolutely. I was scared to death to start that game. Um, you know, be down 20 to nothing to, to a team that is a quality playoff team. Uh, that's tough to come back from. So being able to come back and it was 21-20 at halftime, I felt like as long as we you know, continue to play well, we'll be okay at that point. So what in the game plan did you adjust to lead to more success against the Yellow Jackets in the third and fourth? You know, I don't even know that we changed that much as we stopped making mistakes. And, you know, I don't know what, for what reason. Sometimes kids come out and – drives you crazy, but they coast a little bit, and they're like, oh, no, we have to play hard. And so they decided they, they were going to have to play, and, and so they did. Yep. And you, you guys came back and won with 36 unanswered points. How did the team feel coming off the field after that? It was a great, it was a great win. You know, it was really a roller coaster of a game. Yeah, I think it was enjoyable for fans. I think they enjoyed it. And uh, just exciting start to finish. So anytime, anytime you win, it's a good night. Oh, yeah. That was a great game. So next game you're going up against the CAC Mustangs. You going to change anything in, uh, during practice to prepare for them? You know, not really. We have our ninth graders moving up, and that's always an exciting time of the season when, when those new guys get to come up and get to a little – a little taste of what's going on. Uh, a couple of those guys might help on special teams a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't know about game plan. It's just do what we do, don't make mistakes, and, and play good Lamar football. Right. I'm sure those those uh, junior high players are excited. Yeah, those those guys are, uh, they're uh, I guess, they're 8-1 and one right now, really good junior high squad, so the future is bright. And uh, we're looking forward to those guys. Yeah. All right, and last question. Is there any senior on the team that you would like to call out for senior night? You know, I don't know about any of them individually. Uh, it's a really good group of seniors. Uh, you know, just in the backfield, you have uh, Damian Hendricks was lead, you know, leading rusher, and Lee Harkreader. Those, those guys are, you know, those are uh, good work ethic guys. They do things the right way. Shane Hampton on the line does a great job. Uh, I guess he's. He and Nick Hodge are our two seniors on the line. And, you know, those guys, just they just do a good job. They, they lead the right way, um, do a good job for us, and, you know, just can't complain about the job they're doing. Well, I'm excited to see what you guys are going to do tomorrow. And it was a pleasure having you on the show again. All right, you bet. Thanks.